there, groovy viewers. Welcome to the totally tubular world of carbon dating and climate proxies. I'm your host, Max Blastback. And I'm Rex Blastback. And we're going to take you through the Time Tunnel. Ever wonder how scientists figure out the age of ancient stuff? They use this gnarly technique called carbon dating. We're talking about the carbon isotope, carbon-14. It's in the air. It's in the trees. It's in you. It's in me. But over time, it decides to mellow out. And when things mellow out, they start to decay. That's where carbon-14 comes in handy. It breaks down, and we can measure it over time. Then we can find out how long ago something lived. Excellent! Scientists use fancy pants math to calculate the real age of fossils. It's like calculating a rad code from the past. Check this out. Corbin isn't a time, just a time traveler like us. It also acts as a detective. Imagine Carbon as a climate spy, holding all the secrets of the universe inside of its molecules about Earth's ancient history. And when it comes to understanding ancient climates, Carbon's the key. Carbon-12 and Carbon-13 spill the beans about the atmosphere and Earth's ancient climate. So when scientists find carbon in ice cores or tree rings, they're unlocking the mysteries of the past. It's like reading the Earth's own personal diary. Are you reading my diary again? <laughs> well... That's a wrap, cool cats. We've journeyed through the ages and unlocked the mysteries of carbon dating and climate proxies. Now remember, stay groovy, stay curious, and keep rocking the science scene.